Navigating the world of personal finance can often feel like traversing a maze in the dark. Amidst all the bills, savings goals, and unexpected expenses, how do you truly know if you're making the right financial strides? Drawing from my extensive journey in the realm of finance, including rigorous academic pursuits and experience in the banking sector, I've identified specific unmistakable markers of financial well-being. In this enlightening video, I'll unveil four pivotal signs that signify you're not only managing your money wisely, but also progressing toward a brighter financial future. Together, we'll delve into the essence of these indicators, ensuring you're well-equipped to navigate the economic seas with confidence and clarity. Number one, choosing the game that really counts. Financial health, much like life, can often be seen as a series of games. However, the trick is distinguishing which game truly matters for your long-term prosperity and peace of mind. As you embark on your financial journey, it's essential to ponder, which game am I playing? Many often feel financial pinch not due to lack of resources, but because they're unwillingly choosing a high-stakes contest, the status game. The Lure of the Status Game Within the confines of the status game, life is a glossy magazine spread where every page unfurls a tale of competition. The objective? Always be a notch above your peers. Whether it's the sprawling mansion, the newest designer attire, or the gleaming sports car, the game's essence is to outshine those around you. But here's the catch. It's a game built on shifting sands. Your wins and losses are anchored not in personal growth, but in fleeting external validations. Suppose today's achievement is a swanky new wristwatch, but what if tomorrow your colleague flaunts a pricier one? The cycle of competition, often tinged with envy, perpetually restarts, seldom leading to lasting satisfaction. Robert Kiyosaki once said, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. This hints at the inherent flaw of the status game. It prioritizes the present, often at the expense of the future. The True Reward of the Wealth Game In stark contrast stands the wealth game, where success isn't dictated by public accolades, but personal milestones. This game zeroes in on silent victories, a growing savings account, prudent investments, and steps toward achieving financial freedom. The wealth game champions the belief that genuine success isn't outdoing others, but in surpassing your past self. As you align with the wealth game's philosophy, a realization dawns. True financial prosperity isn't about the possessions you flaunt, but the assets you nurture. It's about the legacy you're poised to leave behind. And in this realization, Many find that they're not just on the right path, but perhaps even further ahead than they initially perceived. So the real question becomes, which game will you choose? Number two, income, perception versus reality. Before we dive deeper into understanding your true financial standing, let's take a quick pause. If you're finding value in this discussion, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content that puts your financial well-being first. And remember to ring that notification bell to take advantage of the tools and knowledge you need to make intelligent, informed decisions. Your support helps us grow and provide valuable insights tailored just for you. Now, let's unravel the myths around income and discover how to measure your earnings in a way that truly reflects your financial health. It's natural to wonder if your earnings match up, especially in a world teeming with data and benchmarks. Many turn to national averages for clarity. In the UK, for instance, the typical salary might be around £27,756, while in the US, it could hover around $59,428. But here's a revelation. These numbers, while informative, often don't deeply resonate with our personal financial self-worth. The Peer Influence Interestingly, it isn't global statistics or national averages that shape our financial self-perception the most. It's the people we frequently interact with, our friends, colleagues, and close peers. 
Their economic status, spending habits, and lifestyles can have a profound impact on our self-assessment. Why? Well, because humans are inherently social creatures, and we often gauge our success in relation to those immediately around us. As Professor Andrew Oswald, a renowned economist, states, Comparison is the thief of joy. This sentiment is particularly true in the realm of earnings. Knowing that a colleague or a friend earns more, even if you're doing reasonably well by most standards, can induce feelings of inadequacy or envy. Understanding Loss Aversion But why does earning less than peers sting more than the joy of making more? Well, the answer lies in a psychological principle called loss aversion. Nobel laureates Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky introduced this concept, suggesting that people feel the pain of loss almost twice as intensely as the pleasure of a similar gain. In the context of income, the discontent from earning $1,000 less than a peer can overshadow the satisfaction of earning $1,000 more than another colleague. In essence, while it's natural to draw comparisons, it's paramount to remember that every individual's financial journey is unique. Your value doesn't lie in your paycheck alone, but in your growth, achievements, and the positive impacts you make. So the next time you're tempted to measure your worth by someone else's yardstick, pause and reflect on your personal milestones and how far you've come. Number three, mastering your financial ABCs. Financial wellness isn't just about the balance in your bank account. It's the culmination of understanding and effectively managing various aspects of your money. Dive into these foundational principles and you're already on your way to a healthier financial life. A. Attuned Awareness To navigate any journey successfully, you must first know where you're starting. The same holds true for your financial journey. Start with a clear understanding of your income, recurring bills, discretionary expenses, and overall financial health. By routinely tracking and assessing your finances, you're less likely to overspend and more likely to spot opportunities to save. Benjamin Franklin wisely noted, beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a giant ship. In essence, be vigilant about where your money is going. While it's tempting to indulge occasionally, Remember the virtue of living below your means. That doesn't mean leading a Spartan life, but instead finding a sustainable balance where you can enjoy life today while saving for tomorrow. B. Buffer for rainy days. Life with its twists and turns can be unpredictable. One day, everything's smooth, and the next, you're faced with an unexpected medical bill or car repair. That's where an emergency fund comes in. Think of it as a financial umbrella shielding you from life's unexpected storms. John Keynes, a renowned economist, once said, the importance of money flows from it being a link between the present and the future. An emergency buffer is precisely that, a bridge to ensure unforeseen expenses today don't jeopardize your future. Even if you've set aside just one month of living expenses, you're already a step ahead of many. Over time, aim to expand this fund to cover three to six months worth of expenses. C. Conscious Debt Management Debt, like fire, is a good servant but a lousy master. While some debts, like mortgages or student loans, might be seen as good debts due to their potential future returns, unchecked or high interest debts can quickly spiral out of control. Living on borrowed money, especially for daily expenses, can trap you in a vicious cycle. As the saying goes, don't let your debts grow old with you. Strive to pay off high interest debts promptly and avoid accumulating more. By managing your debts wisely and living within your means, you not only maintain a good credit score, but also achieve peace of mind. Number four, your personal finance compass, self versus society. Navigating the vast ocean of finances, it's easy to get swayed by the societal winds. Often, society's measuring stick revolves around material symbols, the car one drives, the brand of one's shoes, or the zip code of one's home. But it's vital to understand that society's yardstick is a constantly moving target, swayed by trends and popular opinion. 
The Social Mirage The spotlight of society primarily shines on outward displays of wealth and prosperity. Every Instagram post of a luxury vacation or a Facebook update about a new purchase adds to the mounting pressure to keep up. But these snapshots rarely reveal the whole picture, the sacrifices made, the debts incurred, or the happiness quotient. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, reminds us, I buy expensive suits. They just look cheap on me. This sentiment underscores the idea that it's not what you have, but how you value and utilize it. Personal Financial Fulfillment On the flip side, personal financial success centers on inner contentment and security. It's about meeting your personal goals, be it sending your child to college, buying your dream home, or retiring comfortably. These milestones might not always be Instagram worthy, but they provide genuine satisfaction. Ask yourself, would you prefer a life curated by societal approval or one crafted for personal contentment? Eleanor Roosevelt aptly said, remember, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. It's empowering to know that societal standards don't determine your financial worth, but by your own values and aspirations. In essence, while it's okay to be aware of societal benchmarks, it's crucial not to let them overshadow your personal milestones. By defining and cherishing your own financial goals and achievements, you cultivate genuine wealth that goes beyond just dollars and cents. In conclusion, the journey to financial success is both an outward adventure and an inward exploration. While the glittering lights of society's expectations can sometimes cast shadows on our achievements, it's essential to remember that real wealth and success are not always measured by what's on display. It's the quiet confidence of playing the correct game, the reassurance of having safeguards in place, and the joy of meeting personal goals that truly define financial well-being. Ultimately, it's about charting your own course, understanding that averages don't tell your unique story, adhering to tried and true economic principles, and celebrating your individual milestones. Because when it comes to finances, success is not just about the wealth you accumulate, but the legacy you create and the peace of mind you enjoy. If this perspective resonated with you or made you see things in a new light, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more insights and share it with your friends and family. Let's embark on this journey to financial enlightenment together.